Yeah, but right now, I want to turn to our GMA cover story. Selma Blair sharing her road to recovery. Actress spoke to Robin about the latest in her battle with MS after receiving an experimental treatment and how her outlook on life has changed. I'm so sorry, I can't talk right now. We're shooting the final days of my life. Introducing Selma Blair like you've never seen her before. The actress revealing in a new documentary how she is embracing her second act, living with multiple sclerosis. Well, first of all, at this very moment, how are you? At this very moment, I'm great. And it is important to say at this very moment, and I don't want to be complaining, although, I, I always say I have no complaints, but do you have a minute? <laughs> it's like my <laughs> joyful thing, but I, but in all reality, I am great today. I need more gains than losses, and I do have things that can sometimes be embarrassing, but this is part of it that I do want to show, because that's the part that's healing and perfect and acceptance. Um, the glitches, maybe some of the speech. My brain is neurologically free of, <laughs> forming new lesions, but I do have volume loss in some speech and movement areas and prefrontal damage and things that I take medicine for, you know, throughout the day. Selma first sharing her MS diagnosis on Instagram in 2018. Months later, revealing on GMA her daily battle with the disease. Vulnerability is a strength, my friend. It's not a weakness. What I saw when people came up after an Instagram post or especially our show, your show that I was on, thank you, how much it meant and that moved me more than I've been moved by other things that I had achieved in my life or done. And uh, visibility, how much it matters just to move the needle for young children to think, yes, you know, um, I can do this or I can show like this, you know, because repressing and isolating is a real energy drain. I'm sick today. The options ran out. A stem cell transplant is the thing that's going to help me if anything will. The documentary focusing on her 2019 stem cell transplant, a still so experimental therapy for MS that includes intensive rounds of chemo to help reboot the immune system. But it is not a cure. What went into the decision process to have the stem cell transplant? Because it's not FDA approved yet for MS. What was it about it that you said, I'm going to take a chance here? I kind of got to a critical point in my nervous system and more symptoms and I couldn't stay awake. I'm in a ball in my bed. Everything's so blurry. This is going to pass. I was mortally afraid of chemo my whole life. I'm someone that's always gone holistic um, when, when I can. And I met with Dr. Burr and he said, before you go home to California, I'm gonna give you some chemo tonight. We're gonna see how you do. One dose of chemo the next day, I was on the plane talking clearly. That quick, the inflammation started to go down. By her side, her 10-year-old son, Arthur, a constant support, and her beloved mom, who passed away in 2020 during the filming of the documentary. What would your mother think about the film? <laughs> One. <laughs> She would say something, honestly. She would be f furious that I didn't put on the dog. You know, that I'm not made up. But I think she would be proud. And I do wish that she would see that now I would love to know her in a whole different way instead of her daughter who didn't feel well, which was a lot of our relationship. I didn't feel well my whole life. I wish she could see that I'm okay. <laughs> How is your life different post stem cell transplant compared to pre? I am a different person. I chose this as a marker in my life to want to live, to want to be a person that can show other people with chronic illness, disabilities, an injury they can't get over a hit. I just took a hit and we take hits and resilience is possible and there's work. Return to acting? It's the right thing, I'm not looking, but God knows I would never say I wouldn't dream of being a part of an amazing set one day. You know, watching Selma on the big screen has brought joy to many, something she says she's finally experiencing herself. We have to take care of ourselves and be patient and better times come. Maybe not for good, maybe it's not a cure, but more than not, better times will come. We're meant to have joy on this earth. I never felt that before. 
She's been incredible to watch Ooh. throughout this journey of hers. I mean, such joy and such wisdom. And, and, and you can see the relationship between Robin and Selma, mm -hmm. how much she trusts her with mm -hmm. her story, that vulnerability. It's beautiful and inspirational. And introducing Selma Blair is in theaters on October 15th and streams on Discovery Plus on October 21st. And more of Robin's interview with Selma Blair airs tonight on Nightline. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.